Good day. Welcome to First City Providential College Recognition Program with the theme FCPC Pressing on Challenges of Diversity and Internationalization. Everyone, please join us in an opening prayer. Our Father God, we know how wonderful are the works of your hands. As we gather here today in a celebration of our hardships, let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us. We thank you for everything that has been accomplished in the past school year and more. We thank you for leading us towards lifelong learning and for keeping us all safe. We pray that these students may all feel proud from this day forward and enjoy sharing their achievements with their family and friends. May today be a memory that burns bright within them as they embark in life's great adventure. These all we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The vision of First City Providential College is to become a world-class university for lifelong learning with a mission to continuously provide lifelong education for academic and moral excellence. It is the school's commitment to be of service to God, country, and humanity. Truly, today signifies the culmination of many years of hard work in the relentless pursuit of excellence and wisdom. From this day forward, we shall embrace opportunities and take on challenges with a clear vision and purpose. To formally open this event, let us have an opening remarks. To our Chairman of the Board, Mr. Leonardo Di Simon, our beloved President, Dr. Estrella O. Simon, our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Mrs. Echel S. Antero, our Vice President for Administration, Mr. Leo Vinci O. Simon, our principal, Mrs. Cheryl F. Echanis, our hardworking teachers and non-teaching personnel, our parents, and my fellow students, a pleasant morning to everyone. It is an honor to speak to all of you this morning. Today just happens to be the day we're in. We will continue our journey that we once began a long time ago. Despite the crisis that we currently face, Transitioning from second grade to third grade is a tough one. We need to become an independent student, not just in writing and reading books, but also by reflecting our own experiences and complex learning, such as a different activities that drop an ounce of confidence to ourselves. Through the help of our teachers, we can build a strong foundation to frame our learnings. I am proud to say that today is a shred of evidence that we were able to overcome whatever life gave us during our journey as a grade 3 student. We just proved ourselves and we enjoyed the good ones too. But let's not be satisfied with this. Let us keep moving forward and never stop learning until we achieve our goals and dreams in life. And now, amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, we are truly grateful that our dear school did all the means to recognize our efforts and hardships. It is indeed my pleasure to welcome you all in this online recognition program of First City Providential College. This school has done so many great things for us. We have a quality of education who made us who we are right now. Thank you to our supportive teachers. We will cherish all the learnings and good memories we shared. We wouldn't be here today without your love and care for us. To our supportive parents who always there to help and guide us, their love for us has always been there since our journey as a student started. And to our Heavenly Father who created and guided us all, we have been this far because of you. Thank you to our blessings and opportunities. We may not know where life will take us, but it always be an honor and joy to be a part of this family and institution. Again, thank you and advance congratulations to everyone. We will now proceed to the highlight of this event, the completion ceremony. Our school principal, Dr. Cheryl F. Chanis, will present the candidates for completion. Good morning to all our dear parents and graduating students of Batch 2020, 
Your FCPC family is very proud of you. Your great accomplishments are testimonies that you are indeed true FCPCians. Having known that you satisfactorily complied all the requirements of elementary curriculum of the basic education of the Philippines as prescribed by the Department of Education, I, Principal of First City Providential College, by the virtue and power vested on me by the Department of Education, Hereby confirm your graduation. Congratulations! Continue to strive for excellence. Pursue your dreams and aspirations in life. Surely, you will be the first and the best.
At this point, let us hear the words of triumph and expression of gratitude from our competitors. To our beloved school administrators, teachers, parents, and fellow students, a pleasant day to all of us. At last, school days are over, but we will surely miss our teachers, classmates, friends, and our second home, for City for Bedentian College. We look forward to vacation, but we know that school is something special. A special home where our teachers became our second parents and classmates as our brothers and sisters. As we move up to the next grade level, we will remember the lessons and values that we learn. We will always cherish the memories we had in this school. We learn how to read, count, draw, sit, and recite poems. These are colorful months indeed. We are thankful that this is the school that our parents have chosen for us. It is true that we are in the best learning place. Challenges may come, but with faith in God and perseverance, nothing is impossible. Now, as we make a temporary leave in our dear FCPC, we have marked in our young minds that we will come back reunited with our classmates and friends. This time, we will be older, better, and more ready on the learning experiences prepared for us. We promise that we will remain as lifelong learners in the service of God, our country, and the humanity. Thank you and congratulations, my fellow FCPCs.
point, let us hear the words of triumph and expression of gratitude from one of our awardees. To our chairman of the board, Mr. Leonardo D. Simon, our school president, Dr. Australia O. Simon, our vice president for academic affairs and research, Dr. Echel Simon Antero, our principal, teachers, parents, guests, classmates, FCPCNs, and friends. A pleasant morning. I always remember my parents' words of wisdom that having a good education is really a treasure. Sabi po ni Papa at Mama, mag-awal ka ng mabuti anak para sa iyo iyan, para sa iyong kinabukasan. Ang pagkakaroon na mahusay na edukasyon ay yaman na maipamamana namin sa iyo na hindi mananakaw ni Numan. So I am inspired to continue studying harder. There are times that my parents have difficulty in waking me up every morning. Sometimes I miss my regular morning bath and most of the time eating breakfast inside the car with my younger sister. It's both fun and challenging. I believe to achieve a good education, we need to have self-discipline. We must make sure to listen all the lessons taught and obey the instructions of our teachers. When at home, let us take time to finish the given homework and task. We must spend more time in reading our school books and wisely use our gadgets personal computers, and internet connection for learning and to support our studies rather than spending too much time in other activities such as uncontrollable computer gaming and unnecessary social media platforms. All the subjects are fun and easy to learn. When you have difficulty in learning mathematics, I would like to share you a secret that I received from my dad. Are you ready? The first secret is practice. When at school and home, make sure your pen and paper are with you and take time to solve math problems and computation. The second secret is pra more practice. And the third secret, which is the most important, more and more practice. I'm glad that my big brother shared me an insight that being a student is like a game. It has various challenges and quests. When properly equipped and completed, it will be able to surpass your limits and bring you to the next level. Fellow first citizens, let us not stop in learning. For I would like to share you a Bible verse from the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 says it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction maraming salamat po loyalty to FCPC is a bridge that we should possess FCPCNs, let us recite our creed. I am a true FCPCN. I carry the name of my dear school, First City Providential College. I live up to its ideals. I have the duty and responsibility to think, act, and live with faith in God, creativity, perseverance, collaboration, intelligence, altruism, and nationalism, anywhere, anytime, and always in my life. My fellow First Citizens, parents, and alumni, join us in singing the First City Providential College Loyalty Hymn 
as a manifestation of our gratitude to our dear school. give a parent can give a child 
is unconditional love. Our students are so fortunate for they have been blessed with parents like you who have given all the good that you could possibly give. Being a parent could be a challenging yet rewarding role. These children may not be able to repay all the good that you've done for them, but deep in their hearts, they are so grateful for having parents like you. At this point, let us listen to our students as they sing the song of gratitude.
Let us join voices in singing the city of San Jose del Monte Hino and Pilipinas of Mahan. Pilipinas 
We would like to extend our deepest gratitude to all the people who have been part of this very momentous occasion and those who have made this event possible. To the overall chair of this event, with the support of the faculty and staff, marketing team, and of course our beloved school administrators. This is being your master of the ceremony. I am teacher Christelle Lorenzo. Thank you and keep safe everyone. <laughs>